I don't have to put a bunch of hashtags, just did you enjoy what I came up with? When you deliver something nobody wanted but everybody likes, you're beyond the imagination. For sure. That's it. For sure. <laughs> Um, I'm dropping quotes today. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mental health Monday. 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 To get the course, the hardest part, and and I don't take it personally because there's a limit to what my talent is or my focus when it comes to the stuff. But like, I just look to get twenty percent from whatever I watch and apply it to my stuff. Like twenty to thirty percent, I think is the max because. Outside of that, you're still battling the core of who you are and how your thing has to look. So when you incorporate things, whether it's change in behavior, whether it's people around you, whether it's how you're moving, you're only allowed to change about 30% of who you are because your core is still going to be the same. That's just how you're wired. And when it comes to the work that I do, I treat it that way because it's like, I don't want to pour bleach on something that's working well. Yeah. Like it works well, let it grow. You could add a couple of seeds or figure out what insects like help that plant or the soil underneath it grows well, but like don't drastically change what already has accomplished and fall for what it is. Hmm. It's really good advice. Not that you were giving advice just now, but mm -hmm. that's really good advice. Cause it's like, how anything, you know? Anything else, anything beyond that, you're losing yourself. Yeah. And like, and you're gonna get lost in trying to create, trying to be that other thing. And there's so many things you want to give away. For sure. <laughs> I just, and and I'm lucky. I'm really, I really do consider myself lucky that like I've been in the room so long that like I'm just not missing out, or I don't feel I'm missing out if I'm not paying this price. It's like, nah, it's, you get what you pay for. If you don't got it, cool. If you do have it, also cool. Yeah. If you fuck with them, you can work out a payment plan. Tell them, hey, four months from now, could I just pay everything slowly to get off to it? Like, there's. There's ways to work around it, but it's really about what are you willing to sacrifice? So for me, I know I, I've done so much great work with you guys, just, just in general, yeah. just like DC, Philly, New York, everything else. I think my focus is like getting back to the real conversations that I understand people are afraid to have and put it out there. And eventually people will find the content or they'll come across the right clip. Cause like Instagram and these platforms aren't really pushing your stuff anymore. So really it's about building a catalog. And when people finally discover you and know who you are, they can study your stuff and say, person I was complaining about that wasn't there for like half a decade has been here the whole time. And I'm finally coming across it. Yeah. That's, that's really how I view it at this point. Yeah. It's like, I, I think. The worst thing you can do is have an expectation of somebody. Just whatever they show you, that's what they are. Just accept it for what it is. Like, I'm not going to complain. Oh, but they were supposed to. Well, how many times have you seen them do that? Well, nah, because they always let me down. What was different about today? Yeah. They've practiced showing you the thing. For sure. Don't, don't try to rediscover the wheel. For sure. It's the wheel. Yeah, like you said. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people when they say it. Yeah. Like when they show you. Yeah. And I mean, you know. <laughs> what you guys do in general to me it's um i think the hardest thing for a photographer honestly is to uh reinvent yourself mm. because people to me people see you as the camera yep and it's like y'all would get so much more done if you actually talk to the person for sure <laughs> <laughs> like like, like y'all you everyone across the board would get a lot more done if they've like watched what you've put out there on social media or gone on the website or see the things that you're working on across the board, everyone would be able to accomplish a lot more for sure. Like that, uh, that series Owen was doing it was dope. It was real simple. <laughs> to the camera on people just, just chilling. Yeah. Talk some thoughts every now and then I might do a cut. I feel like putting this out there today. You guys enjoy that. Cool. I got something for you tomorrow. Yeah. My page didn't look the same for a couple of months, but you know what? Everybody enjoyed the shit out of it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And all I did was I just invited you to one conversation I had today and that's it. Yeah. I don't have to put a bunch of hashtags. Just did you enjoy what I came up with? When you deliver something nobody wanted, but everybody likes, you're beyond the imagination. For sure. That's it. For sure. <laughs> um, I'm dropping quotes today. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like your fourth one. <laughs> God damn, my book. My book getting full. Well, I was going to say, all right, so when it comes to your clientele, mm -hmm. how do you go beyond their imagination? Because working with this company, I think is from my limited knowledge of you, I think it's the first time that the tightrope is finally a little bit closer to the earth. Interesting. What do you mean by that? 
<laughs> there's risk in the shoots that you've done and people hiring you and not having a company that says we understand who this man has been and we can mm -hmm. attest that his work is only the deliverables and not what you assume it is for sure um very true that's very true it is um there was a question behind that you said, did you ask how am i dealing with that or you said i'm a lot more i'm a lot closer to earth than i have been this is the first time your tightrope is a lot closer to earth than you've been in recent years yes from the work that i've seen for sure so how does how does it feel to go beyond the imagination of your clients with the work mm, that you do gotcha um whenever you're in a room in general um this is outside of photography this is just i think just life um, there's a value you can add to the room. Um, and what I didn't, I guess what I knew, but didn't really like fully understand, um, prior was that the value exists regardless, like whether I'm taking a picture in the room or not. Um, just my, my eyes on the situation that's, I'm, I'm speaking specifically about the company. Um, just my eyes on the situation adds value um, that might not be there without me. Um, which again speaks to the full time situation, but then bringing me on and them seeing that value. Um, so going above and beyond for clients, um, for me, it was just understanding that I can be me. Um, I, I do think it can be more difficult depending on what type of room you're hired or what, uh, what the room is hiring you to be. Um, I think there's, there are what I consider to be hired guns, which is we just need a photographer, um, shoot exactly what we, what we say, get in, get out. Um, there's the conceptual and then there's like the, the team player worker. I think depending on which one of those you are, I think it's a lot, I think it's harder to go above and beyond um, as a higher gun, because delivering more doesn't necessarily um, increase your value. If they're just looking for a person to hold a camera and take some pictures or uh, press record, um, I think maybe being quicker than everybody else can help you in those situations. Um, but for me, I think the rooms I've been fortunate enough recently to step into have been more so based on vision my conceptualization, uh, my ideation, and my, like, what I'm able to, like, the life on the back end, a lot of that is just me being me in those rooms and knowing that, like, it's going to be respected and, and appreciated. It hurt. Brings when... That's a long answer. No, I thought that was a great answer. <laughs> yeah. there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with a long answer as long as, like, did you answer yeah, the question? Yeah, for sure. sure. Um, when it comes to clients who approach you in a, with a concept mm -hmm. that they have to be vulnerable. When it comes to men and women, are your concerns the same? Or do you have different concerns for men versus women when it comes to like 